TU Braunschweig is Germany's oldest technical university. But the ideas we are developing here in the field of chemistry are new and world-leading. Some of the most exciting work is being carried out in the Institute of Environmental and Sustainable Chemistry, particularly in the field of electrochemistry. One important area is the study and development of batteries. How better we can store energy in batteries and extend their working lives. But this is just one part of the electrochemistry story. This is a wastewater treatment plant on the outskirts of Braunschweig. And you can find similar facilities near every major town and city across the planet. Every year in Germany alone, we have to treat 10 cubic kilometers of wastewater. This would be like filling a swimming pool, one kilometer wide, one kilometer deep, and 10 kilometers long. Not that you would probably want to swim in it. To treat this volume of wastewater requires massive amount of electricity. But there is energy within the wastewater. Wouldn't it thus be amazing to use wastewater as an energy source? Well, we can. This is a prototype reactor that we developed in partnership with the Institute of Sanitary and Environmental Engineering. Here our aim is to transform fundamental research into applied science. If microbial fuel cells are to become the standard for wastewater treatment, we need cheap and scalable materials to make it work. This is a carbon paper bioanode we developed in our chemistry lab. This is a larger version which is being tested in our prototype you can see behind me. The next stage in development is to create industrial scale systems and materials with which we can economically generate electricity from wastewater. To drive science forward, however, we need to go back to fundamental research. In our laboratory, we are developing a better understanding of how microorganisms can produce electricity. Using electrochemical, spectroscopic and microscopic techniques, we can study how bacteria can transport electrons not only outside their own cell boundaries, but to an astonishing distance of 500 times their own cell dimensions. Based on that understanding, we are developing methods to harness this process, generating electricity from mankind's waste material. But this is a team effort. Dr. Rebecca Biedendieck is a microbiologist and a key partner in the Braunschweig Integrated Center of Systems Biology. We are able to identify the most successful, the most active key players within our electrogenic bacteria. And why are we doing this is to combine them artificially to create a kind of recipe to finally get the most active, the most productive system to create electricity and energy. The potential of this work is enormous. If we can develop industrial scale generators that use waste as a fuel, then we will need less oil, coal, nuclear or green energy sources. Professor Thomas Dockhorn is Deputy Director of the Institute of Sanitary and Environmental Engineering. There are two main key issues we are working on. One is regarding the energy, so we have the opportunity to produce energy from the wastewater instead of just consuming energy by treating of wastewater. And secondly, we have the opportunity to extract and to recover nutrients like nitrogen and potassium instead of eliminating and wasting them. Electrochemistry goes even further than recovering energy from waste streams. It can also help to store excess energy from wind and solar power, creating liquid organic fuels. These so-called electrofuels can store up to 80 times more energy per weight compared to current lithium-ion batteries like this one. As electrochemists, we are now developing strategies for an efficient electrofuel synthesis. By harnessing the power of both scientists and engineers in a successful collaboration, electrochemistry is turning ideas into applications. We are developing solutions that could help in transforming mankind's energy supply.